if I asked you to name me some basics of the game of golf, you might tell me a number of different things. The setup, the grip, the stance, the swing in general. You could be right and you could perceive those as basics, but for me, they are not the true definition of basics. For me, there are three absolute basic principles in the game of golf that we need to know and understand and do to hit the best golf shots going, and I'm gonna reveal those to you right now. If you wanna book a lesson with me, join the waiting list. The link to the website is below. On to today's video. Now the three basics are really, really simple. They're nothing like sort of grip stance, and you could class those as basics. You could class those as, as, as non-negotiables, but I've seen a lot of really funky grips do a really good job. I've seen a lot of funky swings and setups do a really good job, but they do three things really, really well and very repeatably. Number one, basic number one, you have to find the middle of the golf club. Okay, that is huge. You have to find that middle of that golf club. If we're two centimeters either side, we're gonna to struggle to make good contact with that golf ball and the ball's not gonna travel the distance it should do and go in varying degrees of dispersion. So you have gotta make sure you hit that center of that golf club. If you don't know that you're hitting the center, grab some Dactarin spray, spray your golf club, let it dry for a few seconds and see where it's coming out from. You might be surprised, you might not be, but you might be surprised with where you're striking it. But basic number one, you've got to hit that center of that golf club. Basic number two, that club face has to be pointing at your target to get the ball starting on its start line. Okay, so your club has to be pointing at the target because if it's pointing a few degrees left, pointing a few degrees right, you are gonna to struggle to get that golf ball to end up where you want it to go. Now the club face heavily dictates, massively influences where that ball starts its flight. So ideally we wanna get that ball starting straight down the middle of the fairway, down the middle of the green, wherever we're aiming for, to make sure that club face. Again, there's numerous ways of doing this. We can alter our grips, we can alter our swings, we can alter the stance, stance and where we set up out from. But the big clue here and where you're going wrong or where you might be going wrong is where your club face is pointing. So make sure if your ball's starting left, then at impact, your face is pointing left. If your ball is starting right, your club face is pointing out to the right. That's pretty simple, isn't it? Now do anything in your path to make sure that club face gets back to square. Experiment on the range. Just alter that club face a little bit. Cheat maybe to begin with just to make sure that you can find a way to get that club face back to square. Basic number two, that club face has to be pointing at your target. Number three, and one of the most important and underrated basics, that club has to hit the ground in the same place every single time. And ideally for a ball that's on the ground, ideally that club needs to come into contact just in front of that golf ball to make sure we're catching that ball then turf, or what we call compressing that golf ball. Again, you can do this with a simple little drill, especially if you're on the, if you're on the turf, you can make sure that if you draw a line in that turf, you're hitting in front of that golf ball. Check where your club's coming into contact with that ground. You can do it with a bit of chalk on a driving range mat. Again, try and get the feeling you're trying to hit in front of that ball, in front of that chalk line that you draw on the driving range mat. Get a feeling for where we're hitting the ground because we can tell if we do it in slow motion, we can tell we're hitting the ground too soon. We can tell where we're hitting the ground we're very much in front. We can tell these things if we just have some slow motion swings and again, where that golf ball's going. So the big clues here are where that golf ball's going and what, in the last case, what the ground contact feels like. So basic number one, we've got to make sure the ball's coming out the middle. Basic number two, we've got to make sure that club face is pointed at the target. Basic number three, we need to make sure that our golf club is reaching the ground at the right point every single time. What we don't care about is what's going on back here. Yes, don't get me wrong, they have an influence. But my word, I've seen a lot of funky swings that can do a very good job, but my word, they look very bizarre, let's say. But they do a great job and they get all those three basics right and repeatably. If you can do that repeatably, you're on to an absolute winner. 